Welcome to DC Vigilante. I'll try and make this a, a quick video. Um, I just watched a, a video of Stan Lee and you can find it on Film Gub channel if you check us out. Uh, it's, it's, and on the video you see um, Stan Lee uh, talking about all the lies that they've they've done connecting his daughter to some hot to, to, to a daughter that has mistreated her father, you know, Stan Lee, in such a bad way and you know, tossing it or whatever it is and Stan Lee's saying that they're, they're all lies and media's all lies and all his daughter has done is post what she believes is what has been true, that Marvel Disney has mistreated Stan Lee through the whole process as uh, mistreated <laughs> I for one believed even when the film came out um mistreated his characters mistreated and she's she's standing up uh standing up for Sony because Disney's tried to rip Sony off and um and as I say some people came out and said oh well we cannot get a better Spider Man film now and, even though they've made something like, for me, um, uh, they have made a few good Spider-Man movies, and recently had that animated Spider-Man movie uh, that, that that won quite well, and to see Stanley's now, as I say, I I did read Marvel comics growing up. As long with DC, I grew up reading Spider Man especially, and you know, seeing that film just just threw me. But to have, but what really gets me the most is all the fans are coming out and they are saying that the, that Stan Lee's daughter is a liar and she's she's this, did she not torture her dad and everything else? and, and and you know, and you had to get this frail man, this Stan Lee, to, to say, no, leave my daughter alone. She, she's been brilliant. I love my daughter and everything else. And you have these blind fans of the MCU who's probably not read many of the comics before. You know, never read the comics. It's just into the films. And no matter what Disney or, or. Disney Marvel makes it's like oh it's brilliant it's it's excellent and and it's and it's not that is your you know that's what you think but this is <laughs> but again I mean I, I understand the passion I understand the love behind it um and hence why I started this Facebook page so people can have different opinions, highlight stuff that is corrupt uh, when it comes to making movies. And I, I hold Warner Brothers up there alongside uh, Marvel Disney Studios um, when I talk about corruption. Corruption over the characters that they're, they're making the films of, uh, corruption over the directors and the storyboard writers, and uh, they destroy it in order to make the money. They destroy a creator's character and make it their own way, throw them in for wee cameos just to get the money. And that is that is right is is basically giving the two fingers to the creator and uh, and, and more and more reports are coming out of the mishandling of Stanley and Disney and and it, and it's just it just gets to me. Uh, and I'm and I'm glad now that I'm making these um, YouTube videos. Just not not just to get it off my chest, but it it gives me a reason to post things on Facebook as well to highlight all these problems because I you need somebody out there to talk against. Um, you know fan bases. I mean I'm a, I'm a Snyder fan, okay. I am a, a Zack Snyder fan, but you also have these fans of DC, you know, that believe the Snyder Cut doesn't exist and everything else and 
um, but it just takes that, you know, you have to have an opinion of your own. Okay, if you believe it happens, if you, <laughs> it's like, uh, just recently I said to people, I don't believe they put a man on the moon. Oh no, God, what a ruckus that, that caused, because somebody was willing to stand up against, you know, an idea that the majority of people believe in. And, but it's up to that person and he should be, a person should be allowed to put some proof and some evidence in front. You know, let's seek out the truth together. Let's bond together and find out the truth. Don't, let's not just slag or say bad things about somebody when you don't know. And don't trust social media. Don't, uh, you know, don't trust so-called journalists. You know, that that could even be paid by these studios, you know, more, um, just recently, you know, Mar uh, Disney Studios have been found out, they've been wheeling, you know, they've been scamming the books and stuff like that, um, but this is what we need every one of you guys and girls out there to, to stop and question things before you start slagging somebody off, right? Put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in their shoes. And as I say, uh, the only good news is recently, Ezra Miller's just recently said that you know the, the Flash movie is as a go. But I'll put this little wee video on uh, to highlight what. I'm talking about and so what might have yeah I'll find it da 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 ba 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 let's see So, there you go, thanks for them, Gub. So, I mean, there you go. So, I just... So, I just... And this is why I make these videos. I just can't believe... I want the Marvel fans, you know, put their movies to one side, stand back, and, and see the movies in a different, different way. See the... the agenda for the next few years right? the Captain Marvel with the feminist sort of look 
you know, with the feminist sort of movement that's going on just now with Marvel that they did with Star Wars. Take a stand back and defend, you know, and, and take a stand back and defend, of course, the Marvel that you love. And I'm talking about those comic book readers out there. Right? But don't just blindly defend something. Okay? Really, and and I'm talking about DC fan here. Okay, I'll blame Warner Brothers, but honestly, for everyone out there, before you make any assumption, before you point the finger of blame, you know, before you start saying, oh, she's a... Don't blindly follow anyone. Don't blindly follow people behind the MCU. Don't follow anyone blindly behind Warner Brothers that, that I did when I made my positive page. But now I've turned into a vigilante because I want to highlight these issues so these big companies do not constantly pull the wool over our eyes. So these big companies don't just buy up the other companies, you know, and then start dictating to us what kind of life uh, we should be living. Thank you very much. This is DC's Vigilante. Out. Check me on Facebook uh, page DC Vigilante. Thank you.